Hi, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. I thought it would be a good day for us to make an arrangement um, in this pretty little frosted cylinder. Um, and, you know, I think that probably one of the things that we don't think about when we think about bringing flowers home to decorate our home or enjoy at the house, the probably the most common place for them to end up is the kitchen because that's where we spend so much time, right? And the kitchen is a great place to have flowers. Um, but I think that there are unexpected places in the home for flowers. I think it's unexpected for us to put them in the bathroom sometimes. I love flowers in the bathroom. Um, whenever we would go, whenever we have conventions at, uh, at, you know, the American Institute of Floral Designers and AIFD and stuff like that, they always decorate the bathroom phenomenally, do these incredible decorations in the bathroom. And people are always just like, have you been in the bathroom? And <laughs> so, you know, flowers in the bathroom, that's, that's important. I think flowers in the bedroom are really important too. And so, you know, I think that, you know, having flowers in there so that when you, when, when you go to sleep or when you wake up, the flowers are there to greet you and the flowers are there to make your day, day special. I think that probably the most important time of the day is in the, is when you wake up or when you go to bed, because you're setting your intentions for the day when you wake up. And at the end of the day, you're being thankful and grateful for what you learned that day. My grandfather always told me that you should always make sure that you learn something and that you laugh each day. And if you haven't done those two things, that you should get back up and you should learn something and laugh before you go to bed. Um, I also believe that it's just a great way for you to set the intention of, of, of how you're going to reset your brain for the next day. If you list those things that you're grateful for and thankful for at the end of the day, then you're resetting your brain for a great new day the next day. And um, I love that. And so I like to have flowers in the bedroom. Um, I have a big floral mural in the one wall of the bedroom um, by my friend Ellie Cashman um, from London. And it's just, it, it's a, it's a, it's a pink floral wallpaper. And Ellie Cashman is very cool because you, you just call and tell them the dimensions of your wall and they make the wallpaper for that wall. And then you just have to install it. And it's really very simple and, but it's very cool. And there's, there's butterflies and bugs and big peonies and things like that on it. And I think that that's really just, it's really romantic and it's just pretty. And I like that even when there's flowers, when there's not flowers in the, in the room, there's flowers in the room. And I also use it for my Zoom calls. <laughs> I know that's why I set up in the bedroom um, for my Zoom calls. But, um, you know, I think that that's a cool thing, too, is that there's a, it's a flower backdrop. And so that's fun, too. But so um, this this frosted vase looks great. And I can still see where the water level is in there. So it's very important so that I can continue to add water. And what I do is for this water, I've already added my Chrysler Professional 3. And then I have bottles. Um, you can use water bottles like this. Anything that holds a liter of water is a really great thing to have as a water bottle. And then you can put your fill it with a liter of water after you've drank this. And then you can do one squirt of the Chrysler Professional 3. And then I put this in the fridge and I just mark it with a flower on the outside so that I know it's flower water. And then I can pull it out of the out of the refrigerator and add it to my flowers. And so when I'm topping off my vases, I'm topping them off with cold water. And that is going to help them last longer. I really am not a proponent of changing your water. I know that you're going to see memes and stuff like that that say after three days, change the water. I don't do it. I just continue to top off with Chrysal Professional 3 water. Always. That's what I do. Unless it gets really nasty, gross, and stinky. And that typically happens in the winter when I'm using Evergreen. Evergreen will make the water nasty fast. So, but for the rest of the time, I don't really, I'm just always topping off and my flowers are drinking the water and they're getting the benefits of the Chrysler Professional 3 to make them bigger and stronger and more beautiful. And so that's wonderful. So um, we're gonna put these peonies right here. I think those peonies are gonna be great inside this little bouquet here. And I think I'm also gonna use this is, so I had someone write me the other day that um, about this, that I called this snow on the mountain. It's uh, it's like a Queen Anne's lace type flower from the snow on the mountain. And we were discussing that it really, uh, she had said it really isn't snow on the mountain. It's really something else. And, um, and there is a euphorbia that is a snow on the mountain. Um, tools that we're using today are Dram, by, Dram Bypass Cutter and my Dram Compact Printer. Just so that we're aware. Thank you so much, Jess Reinhardt for, you know, getting me turned on to these beautiful tools. I love them. Um, but uh, that there is a euphorbia that is also a considered snow on the mountain 
just as this guy, Brunera, is not um, forget-me-nots, okay? It's not a forget-me-not. But um, she was like, that's not really snow on the mountain. And I was like, well, I looked it up on a couple of websites, and a couple of websites do list it as snow on the mountain. And I, I am aware of the euphorbia that is in the flower industry that we get as a cut flower that is also called snow in the mountain that does not look like this. Okay, I get that. So there, it appears to me that there's two things out there called snow on the mountain. And in Michigan, this ground cover is called snow on the mountain. <laughs> so uh, that's what I'm going with. Okay. Um, I love, I love the thing I have to tell you though, and I'm going to, I will say this. Thank you for sending me all the comments and notes that you people do all the time, because there is nothing I love better. Kel will attest to this is having a conversation with people about flowers and learning something, as I said just a few minutes ago, learning something every day, laughing every day. Sometimes some of the notes that y'all send me are so cute and so funny. Sometimes the notes you send me, I learn stuff from. I love every bit of it. So thank you for the comments. Thank you for writing me. Thank you, thank you for feeling comfortable that you can write to me and tell me what you think, because I appreciate that. And I really love it. I really, really do. I think it's wonderful. So um, I've got this, I've got the, and it's interesting. You don't, you will not normally see me do white in an arrangement, but with the wallpaper that's in that room, it looks kind of good. The wall, the, I've painted the walls purple in the room too. There's no purple in the mural, but I like the purple because I think it's powerful and I think it's protective as a color. Um, amethyst is a protective um, gem. And so we have a friend who collects amethyst and we, we frequently buy her amethyst things because it is protective. And so I like that the, I like that there's a purple walls in the bedroom because it's protective and it's also the color of passion. It's the color of royalty. Um, people who like purple as their favorite color um are extremely generous um people people who like purple will spend more money on themselves um so that's cool too so yeah all that's from information for my friend Beatrice Eisman that Pantone I love that occasionally there will be a little um cottonwood oh look at this guy's got a little butt on him look at that and you know what? With my Chrysler Professional 3 in here, that little bud is going to open and bloom. It's going to be fabulous. I love that. So yet another thing I love about Chrysler Professional 3 is it's it's going to give strength to that flower. And look at this one. It's got three peonies on there all ready to go. And I'm just going to cut it just a little bit shorter and put it right in the middle. I don't know. This guy, let's see. Oh, he's okay. I was afraid he was shedding because there's there's petals on here. And I'm not sure where those petals are from. Maybe they were just from other peonies that were inside there. It's the end of peony season, you know. And as those peonies start to fade, um, you know, the other thing that you can do... And I would encourage you to do this is uh, go to ubloom.com and look at my, I have a video up there about how to keep peonies longer. Um, we used to have a peony farm and we would always try and figure out how to make the peonies last longer. And my grandfather has this unique way of holding peonies when they're in a bud or even in a marshmallow stage. Um, this is like marshmallow. This one's bud, but yeah, so um, you can check it out. But it involves wet newspaper and rubber bands. That's all I'm going to tell you. So check it out at ubloom.com. Okay. It's in our At Home With Flowers, At Home With Flowers series. And I made an arrangement in a beautiful um, teal pottery. K-Mark. K-Mark. Uh, teal pottery. I love that aqua color. These are beautiful 
um, maroon dianthus from my friend Craig. He's a flower farmer here, a local flower farmer here in Michigan. And he's at our Fulton Farmer's Market all the time. He grows zinnias for me. He grows dahlias for me. And he grew these. And he just surprised me with them. He was like, hey, I've got these dianthus and they're blooming. And I've got a jillion of them. And I was like, really? And so he brought me. He did not bring me a jillion. But I believe him when he says he has a jillion. But these are just beautiful. And so if you'll notice, I'm kind of weaving them through. I'm not going to polka dot them. Um, I call it polka dot when you, when you just, you know, I'm, I'm layering them in, in, uh, in spots so that they, weave their way through there. Isn't that pretty? And you know what? I think that just like cooking, um, when I make a recipe, I will usually try the recipe the first time and follow the recipe. Exactly. And then I will change it up or enhance it sometimes. Sometimes I say it's too wet and it needs more this. It does, or it's too dry. It needs more liquid or whatever. But, you know, I, I think that when we experiment with flower arranging, I think that's a good thing, too, because I think that the more you practice and the more you, that you work with it, the better at you'll get at it. And I think that that's super beneficial. And so um, I think I think it's just really kind of fun. Now, look at this guy. OK, so this was a new plant that I got. It's a gypsophila. Actually, it's a it's a baby's breath. But look, at it. it's 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 pink. And I am going to cut that and I'm going to stick it right in the center of this okay down inside there this was the first piece i cut off at this spring so there's one and i broke one of them i'm gonna take that off there okay it gives it a little wild wild garden flower look and i think i'm going to use a little bit of my geranium as well and so i've got this is geranium that i cut this one and this is the last geranium of the season I'm not going to have much more of it than this. This was the last one, probably. But because I have that purple wallpaper in that bedroom, this little bit of purple in this arrangement is going to be pretty. It's just going to pick up the wallpaper just a little bit. That's going to be about the right height. Right there. Come on. There we go. We found the spot. And then this is the geranium foliage. I think that's awfully pretty as well. And I like to put a little bit of that in this topping. I'm gonna grab a couple more of them because I've got geranium in this. So I want to have the geranium foliage in here too. Oh, somebody's somebody's exploding over here um you know what though i love that because i think that that's also fun is when i have the arrangement in the bedroom and i come in and there's a few petals that if i set it on top of a stack of books and when i have it on top of there and then suddenly the petals start to fall down onto the table and just these couple little petals laying down by the side of the arrangement i just think that that's so beautiful it reminds me of constant spry who had once said that her favorite day with flowers is when the flowers are starting to fall, the petals are starting to fall, that it reminds us that flowers are fleeting and that they provide memories that last a lifetime, but that they aren't permanent, that they're not a permanent thing. And I think that that's, that's a very beneficial um, way for us to think about flowers is that they're not permanent and that they are fleeting. And so we need to take the time to enjoy them. And I think that that's very important, is taking the time to do that and enjoy it. Just like we should take time with arranging the flowers and enjoying it. So I hope that you're enjoying this as we're doing it. And just our time to visit and have great fun with flowers. That looks really pretty. I don't know who's, who's exploding over here, but I think it's fun. I think that that's nice. I like, there's a couple petals on this side too. <laughs> and I just think that that's fun. Let's see, anybody else that needs to go in there? 
you know what? I am going to throw this in there too. Look at it. it's a hosta bloom, right? And so I cut it off. I cut some of those this morning because I just thought they were so pretty. And I'm just going to slip that hosta bloom down inside there. Look, it's a great addition. Oh, I like that. I need more than one. Here's another one right here. And I think I want another one off to this side. Look at that. It looks very white on the camera. So when you follow us on Instagram and on uh, Facebook, you're going to see that this is pink. It's pink and burgundy and white, but it looks very white on the camera. Sorry about that. So anyway, um, my last step, always, prize of professional glory. And that's going to make sure that everybody lasts as long as it possibly can. Chrysler 3 in the water, Chrysler Professional Glory on top. I hope you enjoyed this. A great little, pretty little arrangement with some petals that are falling on the table. How fun is that? I think that's great. So until next time, keep having fun with flowers.